Only because of the lower weight. What's up, fight fans? Welcome to my channel. This is Johnny, and in today's video, we're going to be dissecting Naoya Inoue, the Japanese monster's career record and resume, specifically focusing on world title fights. Guys, before I continue, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who's been with me since day one. And if you haven't already, could you please hit the notification button? What that'll allow me to do is every time I create something new, you'll be notified. Thank you. Guys, a couple different times over the last few months in our boxing groups and our boxing forums online and on this channel, I featured Naoya Inoue and I've mentioned his record in world title fights. And there seems to be confusion always about the statistics. So in this video, what I've done is I screen recorded Inoue's record straight from BoxRec and we're gonna go over this together. Some of you guys out there think that out of his 27 victories, he's fought for 23 world titles. That is wrong. I wanna mention regular titles do not count. National titles do not count. The only thing we count, world titles, WBC, WBA, WBO, or IBF. Guys, we know in two days, he is putting all of his belts on the line at 122 pounds against CJ Dahini. This fight's taking place at the Erika Arena in Japan. And we do know that anyway, is 27 and 0 with 24 knockouts. He is the number one fighter in the world at 122. He carries an impressive 89% career knockout to win ratio every time he steps into the ring. The Japanese fighter is an orthodox style boxer standing at five foot five with a 67 and a half inch reach. All right, we got all of that stuff out of the way. Now let's go all the way back down to his very first fight, his pro debut. We're gonna add this up together. So everybody in the comments will be able to agree. And you guys who comment saying that I'm wrong with these stats, tell me how I'm wrong when I add these numbers up, okay? Because going into the TJ fight, not including the TJ fight, anyway has had 27 total fights, 24 total knockouts. Of his 27 fights, 20 of them have been for world titles and we're gonna add those up, meaning that he didn't fight for his first world title until his sixth pro fight, meaning his first five fights, he did not have an opportunity to fight for a world title. And then in the middle of his career, he fought two fights, two fighters for non-world title fights. Add up the first five, and then those two, that's seven. Seven minus 27 is what? 20, and that's the number we're adding. And that is his legit career world title record, 20 and 0. He fought for his first world title against Adrian Hernandez. That was for the WBC World Light Flyweight title. And then he went on a streak of fighting. After Hernandez, he fought Vesapian, two. Narvez, three. Perinas, four. David Carmona, five. Jared Pillard, six. Kahe Kona, seven. Rodriguez, eight. Antonio Nieves, nine. Highlight that name too, guys, because we're gonna go back to Nieves. Nieves was his ninth world title. Boyo, 10, he's now 10 and 0. When he fought Jamie McDonald in 2018, that was not for a world title fight. His very next fight against Payano in 2018, not for a world title fight. So those two fights aren't for world title fights. His first five weren't, he's at 10 right now. Rodriguez, world title, Donaire, World title, 12. Maloney, 13. Dasmarinas, 14. Dippian, 15. Donaire, 16. Butler, 17. Fulton, 18. Topolis, 19. And Lewis Neary, 20. He is 20 and 0. That is 20 and 0 in world title fights. It is not 23. We do not add the regional titles and the Japanese titles that he won in his first five pro fights. Also, let's go back to Antonio Nieves because I talked about this in a video before. The reason why that fight is significant because he fought Nieves in 2017 at the StubHub Center in Carson, California. For all of those out there who say that Noya anyway never fights out of Japan, since that fight against Nieves 2017, he's fought four times outside of Japan out of the 14 fights. So you go to Nieves, total fights from 2017. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, Neary is 14. 
Of those 14 fights, four of those fights were outside of Japan. So 26% of his fights since Nieves were fought outside of Japan. So that also dispels the false narrative that he never fights out of Japan. To conclude, Naoya Inoue going into the DJ Dahani fight is 20 and 0 in world title fights. And since 2017, he's fought four times outside of Japan. Stats don't lie.